Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today I am going to be introducing a new series here on my channel. My goal with this series is two parts. First of all, I have a ton of single eyeshadows from so many different brands that I love but I don't use them enough. As you may know, I also have a ton of eyeshadow palettes that I don't use enough, so you know, those two things are kind of conflicting, but I do want to make myself use single eyeshadows more, get to know them better, and also I want to experiment with more color stories that I create myself. I find it so much fun to play with my single eyeshadows. I probably spend more time taking my single eyeshadows out of my Z palette rearranging them on my desk, putting them back in, making like fun little different color stories than I actually do using them. No joke, I, because that makes me so happy. So I thought it'd be fun to create some sort of a series challenge type of a thing for myself where I am sort of encouraged to use my eyeshadows and also encouraged to experiment with different color stories. So that's what I'm doing in 2019. Every month I will have a different color story. I don't have all the months planned out so I don't know the exact details, but this month's color story it contains 10 shadows. Next month probably will have 10 as well. I have, like I said, I have a lot of singles I'm trying to get through. So that's why I'm doing it that way. And then like I said, I will I will have a tutorial at the end of this video and then I will also, I'm planning on doing at least two Two more tutorials in January with these shadows. So as you can see we have a colorful theme going on. If you want to see January's palette, here she is. So this is just a ColourPop. Um, they don't make these anymore. They would sell you four eyeshadows in here but if you took out the foam you actually can fit 10 eyeshadows in here so that's what I use this for. So I thought today's video since this is the introductory video I'm gonna go through each shadow what brand it's from show you swatches and sort of tell you my thought with the color story and with the particular shadows that I chose and then at the end of this video I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial just how I created this look and I didn't like talk through it or anything but I thought it would be fun to just include that and um, as I go through these two I'll tell you which ones I used in my experience using them. So it's kind of like I'm doing with my makeup rotation in my um, Beauty Bi Weekly series where I am sort of pushing myself to really use everything in my collection. I'm just doing this a little bit in a different way with my single eyeshadows. The first idea I had in my head for January was all blues. I don't really know why, I just feel like January, winter, pretty blues, but I couldn't help myself. I had to put in some pinks and I really love like bright blues and bright pinks together. I really think that this is so pretty. So starting with this first one here, this is the shade Sky Blue by Coastal Scents. So here is Sky Blue really pretty I mean okay that's a terrible swatch but it's just it's just a matte shade it's not like a pressed pigment so it's going to take some building up I wanted to include a light blue since I have other darker blues I feel like it'll just help me out getting looks if I have this lighter blue shade so I included that here we have the shade lost and found by Colourpop this is a gorgeous vibrant periwinkle I love periwinkle blues and I love how this one is really vibrant it's just so pretty there is Lost and Found. That one carries a little bit more pigmentation than Sky Blue. I think Periwinkle is a shade that goes really well with pinks. Some blues, if they lean more green, don't go as well with pinks, which some of these kind of lean a little bit green, but not too much. I think all of these will be able to work, but a Periwinkle shade is perfect if you have pinks because you can mix them together and get purple for one thing, and then they also just complement pinks a lot better, I think, in my opinion. Okay. Then I have this really pretty pink shade called Say I Do. This is by Colourpop as well. A little bit dusty, but really it's not that dusty. Like it looks more dusty in the pan. On my skin it stands out more as like almost like a salmon-y pink, but it's not an orangey pink. It's just a very pink pink. Maybe it's like a titch dusty. A little dusty of a pink. It's just so pretty. It's just really really pretty pink. Then we have the shade Watercolor and this is by Ulta. If you didn't know, Ulta Beauty makes their own single eyeshadows and they're very good. I have quite a few of them. I like them. This is one of the prettiest ones. Their shimmer ones are really, they have some really like standout shimmer shades. So again this is called Watercolor. And this is a shimmery blue but it's like, it's a very cool like a almost like a silvery blue not super silvery and it's not super metallic but it's very shimmery and pretty and it almost has like a reflect of like a pink or beige 
duochrome to it almost which again I think it's gonna go really well with a lot of these pink shadows that I have that was kind of my my goal next I have another one from Coastal Scents this is in Miami Spice and this is an interesting one I've never really use this on my eyes I don't think so I'm interested to try it I didn't try it today but I definitely will this is basically a matte brown that appears to be packed with blue glitter I don't know how the glitter is going to transfer to the eye um, I can see it a little bit on my swatch here it's it's really pretty and it is a pretty brown too that it will work even if the glitter doesn't transfer but I'm I'm hoping it does because that would be cool so this is Miami Spice next I have really what I think is one of the stars of this palette and this is called Erebus I don't know if I'm saying that right but this is by Chrisanna and Cosmetics this it's an indie brand I'll link everything below of course if you want to check them out but she has some really stunning singles and this one is just I've seen nothing like it so um, as far as performance I can't speak to it too much I kind of I think I like it but I'm also I also struggled a little bit with it today but I just kind of went all out so who knows but um, so this is Erebus so this I would describe as a as a shimmery deep blue it does definitely does have a lot of glitter as well and it has a oh gosh it's almost like foiled I almost want to say it's foiled it's not like uh, metallic but it has like a foiled look to it when you look at it and it's just so like the depth of color is amazing in this shadow it has like very very fine purple glitter in it it also looks like it has deep blue glitter in it and it's just a stunning shade it's a shade that I just I of course I'm wearing it today it's just so beautiful so that is Erebus by Chrisanna Ann. Next I have a shadow from Makeup Geek. This is the shade Whimsical and this is one of her foiled shadows. So this is a light pink and what I really like about this pink is that it stays pink. I feel like a lot of metallic or foiled shadows look more white or silver than they do pink and this one really holds its pink as you can see. So I am really excited for that. It actually helped me out a lot in this look because Another shade I'm going to talk about in a second didn't do what I wanted it to and this pink kind of saved it around the inner corner and it definitely did absorb some of the pink around it too but um, I was really impressed with this one so that is whimsical. Alright next is this shimmery light blue. This is by Coastal Scents again and this is called Glacier Blue. And this is one of the ones that I feel like maybe could be pulled a little bit to the tur turquoise side of blue. But used with these other ones, I think it fits really well. Yeah, I definitely feel like, especially on my skin tone, my warm skin, a lot of times blues pull more green anyways. So I definitely do feel like this one has that potential. But hopefully I will be able to make this one work with this palette. And maybe having a blue that pulls a little more green will make this more versatile. We shall see. But that shimmer is just stunning. Two more left. We have another one that I was hoping would be the star of the show. This is the shade Eros. And this is again by Chrisanna Ann Cosmetics. The indie brand that I was talking about. So this is a vibrant pink and I at first glance it looks a lot like the Erebus shade, this blue one, but you can see it doesn't carry quite the same punch as Erebus. Unfortunately um, the pigmentation isn't really there and the shimmer, the level of shimmer isn't there as much as it is for Erebus so that's kind of disappointing me. I also used this one today and I am getting hard pan on this so maybe I just used it wrong. I've been using a setting spray that I don't think I like so that could definitely be it so I will definitely keep you posted. Obviously I'm going to do more videos with this palette in January but um, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to mention that, make note of that. We'll see. Let me just try swatching it again. Yeah, it's just not the same quality, it's not the same formula as Erebus here, but it's still a very pretty pink, and I was able, it's almost like, I almost see myself using this maybe more as I would use a matte shade like this to really set the base shade, add some color, but then use something else to get like that punch of shimmer, which is what I did with the Makeup Geek shadow today. Okay, last shade. We have another ColourPop one. This one is called Backstage, and this is a deeper matte blue. There is a swatch of that one. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, so pigmented. That pigmentation, and then it blends. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so there's the whole palette, you guys. I, these shimmers are showing, these, sh these swatches are showing up a lot more than the ones up here, but that's it and gosh I love this I love this color combination I love this color story I'm so into it so again I initially had the idea of this palette being 
completely all blues, which is why I have three matte blue shades of different tones and different depths so that I can really get a lot of that blue those blue looks and I did use I, yeah I used all of these matte blue shades today to create this look which I again I said there will be a tutorial on that so you can see kind of how I did that and then I have these three shimmery blues and this is the only one that I used today these two I didn't feel like were really appropriate since I wanted to have pink in there too um, but I feel like these will be nice depending on what kind of blue looks I want so I'm just so excited to play with this and then for the pinks I love this matte one because it's almost like a neutral. It's like the closest thing to a neutral transition shade that I put in this palette because I like shades like that. I like neutral transition shades, but they have to go with the color story. I hate it when they're just brown, you know? Like to me, this is like a neutral transition shade. Like if you threw this in with like a matte with a bunch of other neutral browns, it would look like a neutral, but it's a neutral that actually fits this color story. It's not just a bunch of random browns, you know? Because I feel like if you are a makeup lover and you buy something like this, you probably should already have a palette or some singles in the neutral shades that you need. I know I do. You know, I have like my perfect neutral base shades and transition shades and the black that I like. You shouldn't need to have that in every palette. Again, I'm getting on a tangent, but yeah, so that's why there's not a lot of neutrals in here because I wanted everything to complement each other and not just throw in neutrals to like make myself comfortable. Um, if I do do, if I am doing a look with this and I feel like I need a neutral or I need a different kind of shade, I will definitely grab that. I actually did today. I grabbed something from the Violet Loss Flamingo palette, just a, a lighter, I'll actually, I'll show you. I just did a winter look with summer palettes um, episode <laughs> in that series with this palette so that is why I had it out but I use the shade sand which is like a beige with a pink tint and I just use that to kind of buff from my bow brow bone all the way down not all the way down but like into that pink and the blue and I feel like that just kind of like highlighted my brow bone and helped the shadows blend so if I need to do something like that with this palette I definitely will I'm not forcing myself to only use these shadows or anything when I do use this palette but I wanted to just primarily get my creative juices going and also give myself a focus on the shadows that I wanted to use in the month of January and just to be clear I'm not only using these shadows in January I am still doing a winter looks with summer palette series I will have a couple videos of those tutorials coming in January and I'm still rotating through everything in my collection so it's not like these are all I'm going to be using but I am going to include these in my rotation and make sure that I use them and do a couple more tutorials here on the channel with these. So I will have all of these shadows listed below and I'll also try to give some sort of a description of the shadows so that if you want to either go through your own collection and follow along with me in January you can do something similar or if you want to purchase the shadows I'm talking about or similar shadows or whatever it is I will try to put as much information in the description box for you guys as I can.
wanted to say thank you so much for watching. If you like this idea, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up and please come follow me on Instagram. Tag me in your looks if you do any looks with these shades or similar shades or if you recreate this look or any of my looks just tag me uh, you can find me on Instagram stories and Snapchat and Facebook and everything like that too so come find me because I would love to see your creativity also and I hope that you will subscribe if you have not already like I said I will have at least two more tutorial video type of things on this palette in January and then at the end of January I will be announcing February's palette which I'm so excited for I'm so excited for this whole series because I just love color so much and I can just tell 2019 is like going to be my year for content if that makes sense I feel like I'm finally I've found a vibe with my content that I'm really into and I'm so excited for 2019 so all right guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you and I will talk to you again very soon bye